Hello and welcome back to our Serbia campaign, episode 2. Yes, let's just get right back into there. Uh, there's not much we can do just yet. Um, like I said, we're waiting for our vassals to figure their shit out. At the moment, where are we at for vassals? How many have turned into... Mm, what are these? These ones are decentralized, 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 regular. Uh, decentralized and regular. Okay, so it's just Macedonia and Hum. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I think Macedonia can raise more troops than Hum, so I think as soon as Macedonia figures his shit out, that's when we're gonna start being a little bit belligerent. Um, Albania seems like a decent target. Achaia and the Knights. The Knights are a little bit worrying because they have a navy and they will absolutely bring their boats over here and uh, Try and wreck my shit. Achaia, uh, not too worried about those guys. Um, Bosnia, again, I would love to go after these guys, but allied with Naples. That's a really, really strong alliance. I have no idea how I'm going to get through that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be tough. I mean, I guess at some point we may be able to just... I mean, we only have what, three provinces that they could get into. No, sorry, four. Because um, they, they can land in Hum as well. If we can just prevent them from landing, that may be enough. Hmm, I'm not sure. We've also got Ragusa, but... Wow, they're, they're in the Lubeck Trade League? Oh, we have to take advantage of that. How are we going to do that, though? You guys need to get a claim on him. Right, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. All right, so province of interest. Ragusa. Ragusa is going to be um, hostile. Hopefully, one of our vassals will kindly make a claim on them. Croatia is still beneath Hungary. Uh, it doesn't seem like the Venetian War actually went anywhere. Oh, Venice, by the way. Did you rival guys that I wanted you to? No, you rivaled the, pa the Pope. Genoa and Hungary. Well, at least if Hungary does declare war on me, we may be able to get some money out of Venice. Okay, also this. Dead hand of the church. Gain church influence or gain five ducats for a bunch of religious scandal bullshit. Uh, let's just gain the influence. Again, that's that's going to be kind of the, the direction that we're going to go in. Feudal fragmentation on Macedonia, as expected. Um, okay, lovely. So let's stop drilling with you because we're going to go to war with Albania. I think the earlier we go to war, the better. Because then we can start coring stuff. Because I'm going to take all three of these provinces from Albania, but I can only core Lecce. As I said, I've done a couple of um, test runs as Serbia, and uh, I've noticed that, you know, I can't core all three provinces. I have to wait until this one's cored before I can do the other two. So... That seems like enough. So let's grab ourselves a diplomat and declare the war. Knights and Achaia will join. Uh, that should be fine. And Lecce shall be the war goal. And we're going to tell all of our vassals to go siege things. Just to make sure, yes, everyone did join. Interestingly, you're at medium enthusiasm. I wonder, if you're a decentralized vassal, can you separate peace? Is that maybe why they were leaving the wars earlier? And, and by earlier, I mean in a different, you know, in my test run. It may be, it may be. But altogether, we have 18,000 men. That's not bad. We could use that against the Ottomans. The Ottomans don't have that many troops. That would be, that would be quite fun, actually. Should we drill? No. What we should do is go and march over here and wait for the knights to arrive so that we can, uh, you know, stop them from uh, fucking us up, basically. Do new decision, loot pool, that's not something I care about. And you're about to have your day utterly ruined. Oh wow, somebody's got a good general. 2352, not bad at all. Gurger Markovic. 
Markovich. Is it ch or k when you have a, a name like that? I, I have no idea. Uh, so if any Serbs are watching, uh, please do feel free to tell me. Also, any like history and stuff uh, of Serbia that you want me to know, uh, do feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, I'm always interested in uh, learning about the countries that I play as. I had quite a lot of uh, really good comments about uh, Austria in the last campaign. I had a bunch in uh, the Sweden campaign as well. Um, yeah, comments on the countries, feel free. Always good stuff. Alright, uh, the knights don't seem to be doing much. To the point where they're not even taking on these ships. Be nice if Hum would bring his fleet out. That would be kind of ideal. The knights are at medium war enthusiasm. Why is that? Oh, and you are trying to land. Hmm. I'm actually going to let you. I'm going to let you do it. Unless, you know what? Alright, so who has the good siege? Velbazd and Ceres. Okay. So, Velbazd and Ceres will stay on um, siege mode. You, siege, and Ceres. Sorry, Belbazd, Siege. Everyone else can come with me. And we're going to go and uh, kill some knights. Also, it'll stop you all from, you know, being idiots and uh, taking shit tons of attrition. Because that's never a good idea. And you're going to arrive in Boleron. That's where we're going. But yeah, 7k to Siege. Uh, the rest are coming with me. All good stuff. We've got a 411 and a 112 coming with us. Better than what I have, for sure. Everything is better than what I have. Uh, and you, you're allied with only Thessaly. If I was to attack this guy, I could also core Muzakai. That might be an idea. Maybe we'll chain these wars together. Because we'll have you full occupation, but we won't be able to piece them out while these guys are still around. So perhaps, while we wait for you to get to 100%, we just kind of maybe ruin Muzakai's, sorry, uh, ruin Arbanon's and Thessaly's day. Our brother uh, must certainly die. Oh, hello. The knights have come. Oh, sorry, Achaia has come. Has Achaia got troops? Are you, is that what you're doing? I don't see any troops trying to land, so fair enough. Fair enough indeed. See, this battle's quite tough. Well, I mean, you've got 112% discipline because of your mad amounts of um, development and monastic order. You lost a fair few troops, but not as much as he'd lost. Which is always nice. Alright, you're about to be shtekity wipadoos. There we go. You lost 2,400 men. Sucks to be you, son. Alright, and Thessaly, we're just going to immediately declare war on you. Uh, reconquest of Arrestis. Arbanon will help. You're only allied with Thessaly. Yeah, perfect then. And yes, we're marching into a mountain. I know, it's stupid, but look. We're, we outnumber the guy, like, fucking 7 to 1. I think we're going to be okay. Plus, we can flank, which is uh, always nice. Oh, man. Yeah, we're, we're flanking, and it's Racina's 4th Regiment of Cavalry. Uh, Hum is now a decentralized vassal. That means Hum has left the war, I believe. Yes, they're no longer in this war. And they're no longer in this war. They're in no wars. Useless bastards. Right. How many men has everyone got here? Kosovo has 4,000. We only need 2,000. So maybe we will leave Zeta. Yeah, we'll leave Zeta sieging. So turn you onto siege mode. Wait until you've stopped. There we go. You've stopped attaching. And we move on. Wait, what's happening here? Hmm. So you're black flagged because you're hum. Maybe the other, everyone's black flagged and they're they have to move around a bit. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We fixed it. 
Right, so what we're going to do is go and kill you in the drylands and then go and, and kill all of you as well. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's bad timing. You're going to need some help then before you can siege anything. Uh, what I'm going to do... Oh yeah, you're, you've finished sieging. Good. Now you can siege this stuff. Or you're probably going to go and help him, actually. Maybe. Alright, this is the objective of Ceres. So you should go over there and siege that. Perfect. And then as soon as you've finished here, I'm going to get you to go over and help out over here. Actually, if I just turn you onto Ceres now... Oh, you shouldn't have stopped sieging. You were already sieging a target that I had given you. Anyway, you're about to die. You have no general. We outnumber you significantly. Oh, it's glorious. This war is going fantastically. Oh, this, this chain war. It's glorious. Right, this is actually going to be Zeta's objective then. Ah, oh, we didn't catch him. That's fine, we'll get you in Kosovo. Unless you get to Apollya. Which you probably will. No, you won't. Ha, ah, get fucked. Right, monasticism. Hermitage is always the best option, I think. Uh, so yes, we'll get a Hermitage. Interestingly, you are now sieging each other's targets. But whatever. Right, what we're going to do is move our army to Bolaron, because that is where these guys... Actually, if we go to, like, Strumika, Strumika, everyone stop uh, going on me. That would be handy. So, yeah, if we see them trying landing, trying to land more troops, then we will uh, go to intercept, but at the moment, it doesn't seem too necessary. Also, yeah, you're to siege, you should be over here. Zeta, I don't care where you go, but Ceres should be here. But it seems like they're not planning on doing that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go home and do a bit more drilling, to be honest. Uh, get my drill up, get my professionalism up. Professionalism is so valuable. Especially, like, it's more valuable in Mayo and Texas than it is in Vanilla. Purely because it gives... Uh, I'm not going to be able to see it. But it gives, uh... Oh, what you call it? Uh, discipline. Yeah. So, it's really good. It's one of the only ways you can get discipline. Or at least that was the case when I played as the uh, Dutch Republic. So, oh, I guess we weren't Republic, though. We were Dutch Empire. Um, that's what happened there. I'm not actually sure if that has been changed or not, so I guess we'll find out at some point. Right. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Loop pool. Let's have a look. Not bad. 100 ducats is going to come in very handy. Uh, we're over a Diplo limit again. What changed? I don't know what changed. Mm, not sure, not sure. But either way, we're just waiting for sieges to finish. We'll peace out of the wars. Um, Albania... I mean, if we can peace you out, that would be nice. No, nope. you're going to have to wait until your friends have left. This war, we're just waiting for the sieges, and then we can just peace all of this out immediately. No problem whatsoever. Oh, hello! Oh, shit! I missed this completely. Empire of the Romans and uh, the Turks are at war. And the Romans are winning. Wait, are you sieging... Okay, so the Ro... The AI Romans are doing the player tactic of trapping the Ottomans in, uh, in Lesvos. Where are the Romans right now? Probably over here doing nothing. Um, it looks like, it looks like the Ottomans actually have the naval advantage, which is surprising. It's very, very surprising. Yeah, it looks like even the Gulf of Varna is, this is blockaded. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Hang on, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. what's the best way to have a look at this? Um, who else are you fighting? Just the Ottomans, and you are fighting... The Ottomans, uh, sorry, the Empire of the Romans and Wallachia. But yeah, you, you're losing, son. Uh, surrender timer on Gela Blue, and as soon as that happens, you have lost. I like it. As long as Hungary doesn't decide to attack Wallachia, everything is glorious. And it has no claims, so he's not going to. Oh, beautiful. 
That is really, really good to see. I would much rather fight Empire of the Romans than I would fight uh, the Ottomans. So, Hungary, stay the fuck out. Don't attack Wallachia now. Wait until his war is finished and then do whatever the fuck you want to do. 42% on that, very nice. Unfortunately, the guy with the nun siege is the one that's, you know, doing the sieging. Sorry, he's got one siege, so it's not as bad as, like, none, but you know what I mean. It's not great. It's not great. Um, if I got access through you, which you're never going to do because we're rivals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind then. There's no way for us to get to Achaia. Alright, so Lesvos has been sieged, and the Rome, uh, sorry, the Ottomans are in Gelabalu. with 11,000 men. Okay, maybe I was a bit premature. Like, the Romans should have had naval supremacy, though. Like, I have an Ottoman campaign, uh, just a single-player, you know, not recording campaign, and as the Ottomans, and the Roman navy is very, very strong. I have no idea why they were not able to have naval dominance here. It's kind of baffling, actually, and worrying. This, I don't like this. Either peace out, so no nothing changes hands, or, yeah, I don't know, there's nothing we can do to kind of help out. It's a shame, really. I would love to help out my rival <laughs> against my common enemy. But yeah, all we can do is wait until this is finished sieging. Though, if the... Hmm. So, if the Ottomans manage to win here. They take over um, Thraki, Hevros, Dinamacheco, Pegea, I think Philadelphia, and Lesvos, right? They get that event. Um, Empire of the Romans keep Constantinople. They keep Chalcedici. They actually lose all of this. Uh, this turns into Epirus, I think, and this goes to Thessaly. Everyone's now going to help out here. And now it's got two siege. Yay! This should uh, this should fall very quickly now. Hopefully on this tick, so that my allies or my my uh, minions don't lose too much manpower. And there we go, 100% on that one. Royal family in Macedonia will learn of pleasantries exchanged to gain 10 diplo points. I love it. Good, good, good. So we'll piece you out. So what we'll do is Muzukai to Albi. Oh, no. No, 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 don't do it that way. Uh, we're going to do it this way. So this is going to go to Macedonia, because Macedonia has a core. And then just do it like this. And uh, remove that, because it's stupid. We'll do that. We'll take five whole ducats. Yes. So that is the first of many wars. I have now taken Muzukai. Of course, I can't core it yet, because we've got martial law. But we will be able to core it. And it's not, um, it's not 9999 distance away. Now we just need to wait until this, um, this guy goes to 100%. Uh, is it five years that you have to wait? So we'd be, we'd be waiting until 1350, uh, sorry, 1363. Although these guys are at medium war enthusiasm. Oh, no, wait, no, we're 100%. Boom, boom, boom. Take... 15 whole fucking ducats. Hell yeah. Nice. Serbia has grown. It's glorious. Uh, unfortunately, with our Arab extension, we're losing 4,500 manpower, which is not great. Mm, I don't like any of those, so we'll go with just the... Uh, ooh, 25 stab points? That's more than usual. I like that. Yeah. Immediately, we'll core the two provinces that I said we were going to be able to core, and the rest are, unfortunately... Not even, not even 10,000 away. There are 100,000 um, distance from us. 57%. Oh, it's all over. Romans, you're fucked. You're fucked. There's nothing we can do for you. And then as soon as this falls, they're probably going to immediately jump on in and attack Bulgaria. Ugh. Seek the blessing of the Holy Hermit. 
That's always a good idea. Yearly prestige plus one for a month. Yeah. Let's do it. Hopefully the hermit is kind to us. 141 ducats. Hmm, what do I want to do with that? Exceptional year, plus 2.5% national tax modifier. I'll take it. So we're going to see what the Holy Hermit has to say. And then I think we're going to end the episode. Eight ducats, that can't be right. No, it's not right. That's spoils of war. So we'll have to wait and see what the actual income is. Also, do you have any extra allies yet? Nope, just Naples. Gala Blue's been desieged. Now they're in Thraki. You've got only 8k. This guy's got 11k. I find it interesting that I can see exactly how much, how many men they have. This should probably be um, obfuscated. This shouldn't be something I can know about. Uh, either way... Oh, actually, there's 13,000 men here, and they're going back to Gala Blue. Uh, interesting tactic, for sure. What's this war about, anyway? What, what is the war goal? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. It won't tell me. Actually, no. War goal is having won enough battles. Uh, there is no battles, but, yeah, the blockades are a pain. The Elder's Blessing. Thank him for his blessing for a plus six legitimacy, or lose a ducat, still gain the legitimacy, and also get ourselves... Um, an advisor, which I don't want. So thanks for the legitimacy, and I shall see you later. All right, lovely. Well, with that, I am going to put a cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, with this being one of the earliest videos in a series, likes and comments are worth quite a lot. So uh, if you would be so kind, I would very much appreciate it. And until next time, uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.